Welcome to Motivated Living. Change is on the horizon. What's up, my wonderful world of YouTube? My name's Chris, and you guys are tuned into Motivated Living. Today, I'm going to do something a little different because I'm back here by the aquarium. I got to remember the camera's here. I got the phone facing forward this time. Um, but I wanted to share some things that came in the mail from another uh, review channel, his and hers, Mr. Kyle. We negotiated like a swap. Um, some things that weren't working for me and some things that wasn't working for him. So we both had some items that we weren't wearing, but we wanted to keep them circulating. I'll share what he sent my way. And thanks again, Kyle. I appreciate it. And I hope you can give life to the items that I sent your way. So we'll start off with this guy. Le Nouvelle Lhomme. It's Yves Saint Laurent. Eau Electrique. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. It's uh, when I spray it, it gives me the feeling of I keep wanting to look at the screen, but I forget the cameras over here, and I'm trying to make eye contact with y'all. Um, it gives me that vibe of like the Paco Rabanne Invictus or the YSL, the Y, the EDT, kind of that aquatic type. No, that's the vibe I get. Now, I'm no expert on these. I'm just telling you how I feel, and I like it a lot. I'm a big fan of all the Yves Saint Laurent lines that look like this, the Loam, the Lanui de Loam. I've got several and this was one that was missing. Now I just need to add the Libre and there's a couple others because there's a ton of different ones of these out. It wasn't for him. He wasn't reaching for it. He wasn't liking it. Uh, so in hopes to give it new life, it came my way. That's what we do in the fragrance community. We like to share things and hope that other people get love out of them. And uh, that's what we did. Now they, he shipped it in a box. As you see, big old box. It came. Um, I've already dug through them because it's been a busy day swapping on. I couldn't wait anymore. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I apologize. Y'all didn't get to see the unboxing. But uh, the bubble wrap, it has like sticky stuff on it. So they were all secured like that. I'm sure many of y'all are familiar with this guy. Dolce & Gabbana, light blue. There's an Intense out now, and actually, if you look down on my channel, my daughter and I did a head-to-head, -head, and we both, actually the whole household, preferred the original pour home over the new Intense. Uh, to me, great smelling, bright. Uh, I don't know, I like it a lot, and anytime I put this on, baby gets extra close, if you know what I mean. Love that stuff. He says he has several of these, he's received them as gifts. Let me adjust. Where he's received, received them as gifts, and he just had more than he was ever gonna use. But yeah, I'll gladly take one of them. Let me bring this box down here. There's the classic vibe, Dolce and Gabbana. That's the poor home. Yeah, buddy. Um, it's a different smell, but it's clean. And it's it's not super fresh. Um. I don't know really how to explain it. It's just this clean, gives you this kind of a classic, classic vibe. Uh, it reminds me of some like high-end soap almost. It's appealing. My wife likes it when I put it on. And then I layered this one day. I sprayed this on and I got curious. So I ended up going over myself lightly with the light blue on top of this. And man, this was a lady killer. Make sure she ain't listening. <laughs> um, and I was at work just messing around and instantly, you know, someone came up, two different compliments, like, oh my gosh, what is that? And I said, well, I've, I've layered the two of these. You've got to get me these for my husband. And uh, so that's why it's no longer in my collection. I couldn't say no because the person I work, their husband's a really good friend of mine and I was all for helping him to get some booty. I'm a fool. That's me. What do y'all think of the shirt? That's that pit bull love. Got his head, he's jamming. I'm all for the pit bull, support the breed, punish the deed not to breed, you know. Uh, one of the most loyal, loving dogs I've ever been around. I've had many pits in my life, it's all how you raise them. Uh, Paco Raban, one million, that's the original OG, OG Bobby Johnson. Hey, he said he had it and he just doesn't use it. I said, Man, I'd love to have it. Cause I was actually just looking and I, I found a tester for like 50 bucks on fragrance net I was gonna get and then he told me he had this sitting there I've had this a few times there was a store 
man, I can't remember the name of it. It was replaced with Gordman's, but it was here in town. And they went out of business and they were selling the testers, like everything in their cabinet. And they were brands making new for like 12 or $13 when everything was said and done. I bought a bunch. And uh, people were offering me $50, $60 for them. You got it. So it was one I, I ended up regretting letting part of my collection. And la last but not least, uh, he told me he sent one. It's a house that no one really talks about. It's called Gorilla Perfumes. Come on, adjust. Maybe if I put my hand behind it, it'll adjust better. That's the first time using the front camera. This is the Note 10 Plus. Uh, it's called I'm Home, Gorilla Perfumes. Or Gorilla Perfume. Now, from what I understand, it's really hard to come by. And especially this big of a bottle. I, I was looking online trying to find out more about them. But it's really super strong. Uh, it's got like cocoa, vanilla. Let me read the back. Because it, it says they're hand blended. There we go. Fragrance. Hand blended with fine essential oils. Man, it's super stout. It's super strong. Uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. Lush Manufacturing LTD. Uh, fighting Animal Testing. I was reading something I found online that for some reason they couldn't, they're not allowed to ship these. You can only buy the solids in California. Like the company was not allowed to ship them for some reason. But it's super strong, I'll tell you that. Like really potent, really powerful. It would take some getting used to. That's what I got. So I thank you guys for tuning in. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you, Kyle. I hope you enjoy the fragrance blessings that came your way. I'm going to put these to use. Enjoy them. Give them new life because great fragrances don't deserve to just sit in a, a dark cabinet or shelf and not be touched they need to be loved and enjoyed and that's what we did here so hopefully we all get to enjoy what was sent back and forth and i hope each and every one of y'all have a blessed day hope you're smelling good you're feeling good y'all keep your head up thinking about big and better one day at a time we got this we're gonna make it thank you guys for tuning in motivated living have a blessed day Peace. motivated living changes on the horizon 